That's my shadow. All right. I think I'm going to title this video the world's worst pick a video in the history of all time and ever. And the reason is, and it's not because I didn't get anything today, right? And it's not because I overpaid for what I got today. Because everything you see here, I, I paid $26 for. So everything was like super cheap, practically free. Um, no. Why this, this is, to me, such a disappointing day in video is because I went to... Can I show this to you? I went to this many garage sales. 76 sales total. That's what I went to. Eight were not open, and I think we went to 84 because some were not on the list. Oh, no, 84. There were 84 altogether. Eight were not open, 76, and then I went to three extra ones on the list. That's Maywood Townwide for you. Um, what I think about the Maywood Townwide, uh, I'm, I'm going to put something in the title that will remind me not to go to it again because everything that the people had was not good or special. I mean, again, I, I didn't start early. I went out about... I got there at 9.30. And people have said, oh, they were here at 7.30, which I understand. But well, I, unless everybody that went early bought every single thing that was good out of 80, it was almost 80 sales, which I don't think is possible because some stuff should have been overpriced or too much or whatever. And I, if I did see stuff today that was overpriced, it was total garbage that was overpriced. It wasn't like, like a bronze that they wanted like uh, $1,200 for or something like that, that you go, well, that might be a good deal. I don't really know. It's a bronze, but it's $1,200. Right? I want to spend $1,200 for it. I don't know. I don't think I do, right? Um, so it wasn't like that. It would be like a, a, a jacket, like a used jacket that was 25 you know? It would be like a, a game that was like... Oh, a PS2 console, for example. That was with a stack of BS games. That was 45. We didn't even have the right controller, you know. But anyway, um, so this next year, I'm not going to Maywood. I can tell you that much. You'll never see me post like, oh, yeah, I went to the Maywood Town one. Because it wasn't worth it. And I did see a couple of people I knew, and they were like, not much here today. Uh, they seemed disappointed. But let me go through what I got for 26. And again, this is me cherry picking, driving around all day till about 1.30 when we stopped for lunch. I had literally spent more on lunch, I swear to God, than I spent on, on stuff today, or about the same. I think I spent 26 on lunch, and what I, I said, I spent like 26. Let me just double check. There's my scribbly handwriting. Look, I really write better than this, but we write when I'm driving. <laughs> So it's like you try and write while somebody's, you know, like, like that. But anyway, it comes to $26. That's what I spent. Um, for $26, let me just go through it. All right. Like, why drag it out? $5. I got three buckets. That's a great deal. I can use these. I'm going to use them right away. <clears throat> I did get some game stuff. Here it is. And believe it or not, this was like a dollar an item. So the guy had about four more games, but it was like Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana, the game. So I cherry-picked these, since they were a dollar piece. This, I guess I'm going to sell for 20 or so. It's really clean, which is good. Of course, new charger, so I can't test it until I get the charger, but it is nice and clean. And it did come with a box, and this paper's in the box. Let me go through the games. Sims Castaway, Sims 2, not for... What? No forgets? Oh, Less Sims 2. Is that French? Hmm. All right. I don't think that's... I, I don't really know. It's probably a $10 game. Retro Atari. Don't know. Probably... Maybe it's 8 or 10. Something like that. Uh, Pet Horse 2. This is like a $3 game. The, oh, the games are in there. I did check. Oh, and I also checked to make sure inside of every lame game that was there... Like the Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana, whatever, right? Um, to make sure that there wasn't like a Super Smash <laughs> or something really good. In it. And there wasn't. Oh, here's Sims 2. Oh, wait. The Sims 2 Pets. Probably a $4, $3 game. And then Animal Crossing Wild World. I don't think this has... If that's more than $10, I'd be surprised. So, I mean, again. For the $6 I spent... 
I mean, the profit's totally there. This, at least 20, I mean, come on, right? And these, I'm just going to average them out at five a piece, we'll say. So 20, so at least 45, 50 bucks right there. I bought this for a dollar. It's the only Blu ray I saw. I'm not going to watch it, but somebody might like it. When they do Pitch Perfect 3, they might need to catch up because the storyline goes from, you know, they always have cliffhangers, I guess. I don't know. Um, it was a dollar. I'll sell it for $3 in a store. Here's the jewelry that we got today. It was old junk or brand new jewelry. I don't, if you want to see what I'm talking about, because I walked around with my phone and I just showed everything that I looked at and did not buy. And you'll be like, what the hell? Because it's all clothes. I'm not buying clothes. I don't want that stuff. Jeez, I hate to be so complainy. <laughs> Let me be cheerful about this. I, I went to 80 sales today. Look at all the great stuff I got. Wow. <laughs> anyway, this is a Mary Kay bracelet. Mary was like, oh, I don't even want it. I was like, Mary, it's two bucks. It's silver. She's like, okay, fine. Maybe Mary Kay bracelets are, are good or better than whatever. Oh, here's something dumb I bought. I'm going to put this in a store. I'm going to put stuff in here. Like action figures or toys for little kids. So I'll put like big ones. I might put Hot Wheels in here. I might. Steve gave me some Hot Wheels. I might take. I might go through the Hot Wheels. Some of the ones Steve gave me, and then some of the ones I already have at the flea market, and pick out some really nice, clean, cool ones, and just stick them here and here. And I'll just put it somewhere in the store. And when people come in, they'll go like, "Ooh," and they'll buy some Hot Wheels. Um, got these three hats. Giraffes, well, these were a buck a piece, so odds are I'll sell these for five dollars or four dollars. Jurassic World, I mean, I'll look it up maybe because it's Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it's worth a, a lot, but I'm just gonna say it's like five bucks. This, I'm assuming, is worth 15 and up, so you yeah, know, 45, 15, 18, 63. These hats, five a piece, that's 78, right. 26 bucks. I've already tripled my money. Um, so anyway, Jurassic World. Man, I'm not lying. I went to like 79 sales. <laughs> 79. Oh, and I went to one twice. <laughs> it's 80. I didn't realize I went to it. I went back to it. Uh, here's a Mario cap. I mean, maybe it's old. Maybe it's discontinued. 2013. Well, it's not old. But it's got to be worth like five bucks. Oh, let me look at this hat too. Let me see if there's a date on it. Let's see. Jurassic World. So it's definitely not old. Hold on. God damn it. Hold on. No date. Whatever. All right. And um, here's a Bowser cap. Kind of neat. It's got like green leather. Whatever. It's worth at least five bucks in the store. Maybe more. Okay, no date. Who cares? Can't be that old. All right, so what I say? I got 75 bucks worth of stuff here or so. Um, unless, if this is like 40, 50 bucks on eBay, not even 35, right? Because I don't really care. Um, it would have to be 35, super easy sell. And sell, I wouldn't list it, right? This is going in the store, 10 or so. Maybe a little less than 10, maybe a little more than 10. I don't really know. It's got to be worth a lot for me to want to do it. Not that old. But it's a Borg bank, a bank of Borg that's in space, you know, like here we have Bank of America in space. They have the bank of the Borg, you know, they don't really give very good interest and they're not very good to their customers and you will be assimilated, whatever. Bank of the Borg. And oh, I was goofing around. Oh, this is funny. I was at the sale, right? And I buy the bank for two dollars. Right, and like I said, it, to me it's like a ten dollar item. I buy the bank for two dollars, right? And I start shaking it like this, right? And some guy goes, "What are you doing? Checking to see if there's some money in there?" Or he says, "We're checking to see if there's some change in there." I'm going, "Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping there's some bills in there." And they laughed because it's funny. There was no bills in there. Um, I already showed that. <sighs> I bought these for five dollars. This so far, I think everything is going into the store, except for this stuff. Store, 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 and this I'm just gonna put in the store because these are kind of cool. This is actually like heavy marble. Oh, they're not old, but I paid five dollars for the two. Look, it's Taiwan, made in Taiwan. Hey, Taiwan's been around a long time. These could be old. They're not. 
Um, and I also got a similar green box. Now, if you had to buy these in a store, they'd be a lot of money. I think I'm going to be in like the $10 range a piece. I paid $5 for the two. They're just kind of cool. People like these. Just don't put it on a place where you can fall on it. AJ. Or anybody. Because that would be very painful. And a box. Okay. So let's see. What I say? So 75 85 20 bucks at least. Is that at 85? God damn it. All right, so 100. So I guess I, at the very least, I have four times my money today. Oh, and I had lunch. That was 26 bucks, 50. So gas. My precious lifetime that's running out, <laughs> I feel. All right. Um, uh, this is the, this, believe it or not, this is $2. This is a painting, and it's reverse glass on a window pane. It's actually really kind of cool. Let me just focus in on it a little bit. Um, what's your opinion? What do you think that is? I'm thinking cavemen. Except for this guy, I don't know. Like, his face doesn't really look like a caveman face. So maybe he's just passing. Somebody said, maybe it's hockey. Which... If that's not a hockey mask, that's a that's a fake. I think I think it's caveman. Anyway, the dude's name that painted it is. Let me just do this. All right, all right. For God's sake, M C G O Y Mick. Mick. Right. I got the wrong angle. Let's try again. M C G O Y Mick. McCoy, McGoy, Mc, McCoy, McGoy. I don't know. What's your name, sir? Kenneth McCoy, McGoy, MC Goy. Um, um, this guy did this, and his name was Kenneth. Um, Kenneth Ken McCoy. Uh, that's what he did. He painted on windows. Similar, abstract. I'm thinking caveman. I don't know. You tell me. What, I think, I, hell, it looks like. If I stand in front of it, my shower's going to be over. All right, that's it. That's everything I got today. I'm supposed to be at Clifton Jubilee tomorrow, but now they're talking about rain, so I may not be. Um, if you need to know if I'm going to be there, message me. Check with me. Because um, I may not. It all depends on what the weather's going to I'm not going to go and get rained on. It's, it's too annoying. I'll just stay home and do eBay. Anyway, um, like my Facebook page. Like this video if you want. Even though I was kind of complainy. Uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, subscribe to my friends. I have links in the little eyeball over there. And at the end of the video, I got things like that. And I don't know. Is that it? Is that everything I got to say? It might be. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, um, come to the store in Butler. <laughs> Buy stuff. And uh, watch my other videos if you want. All right, anyway, I guess I'm out of here. Um, if you want to see the live hunting aspect, I, I took video clips of every single sale I went to, and I showed the stuff. You will see nothing of quality in, in 80. And I, I thought Maywood was a nice town. I thought the people there had money. I thought, you know, there's like no way that that, that town was cleaned out of every single item of some value. You know, it's impossible, but whatever. Unless people are just getting rid of their junk, like their real junk. But anyway, uh, if you want to see all the, I'm going to say at least 100,000 items that I passed up today at sales. I'm going to say at least 100,000. If you want to see all that stuff, Go watch the Scummy Resellers because I'm going to put clips. I mean, I'm going to put a video with all the clips and everything of what I did not. Well, me walking around, basically. All right. Otherwise, I guess I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.